All right, good morning. Lots to talk about here in the backyard with my solar panel array, so let's get right to it. A little bit of a history lesson. I built this one about nine years ago, and this past fall put in a combiner box. So I got four strings here. This is a 2,400 watt array with four strings of six for 24 panels, and it is working great. It's working great. So this is the north array facing south and I'm shooting this on wide angle so you get a better perspective of my backyard let's go over here this is kind of a temporary deal for the bedroom system basically 400 watts right here the pergola I redid as you know that has six Q cell bifacial 480 watt solar panels atop so essentially a 3000 watt system there on the pergola and I redid the top this was built let's see about 10 years ago 11 years ago and I've just redone the top several times and this is the best version now let's get over here and I'll show you what's going on with this array this is the south array I built this about eight years ago and it had 1,200 watts in solar panels. And this fall, I extended it out here to add in 10 more panels for 2,200 watts. Now, what I'm going to do with this next week is I ordered six more of these Q cells to replace all these guys. On this string over here, I've got a couple of weak 100 watt solar panels they're they're about nine years old um, so I might have a, a bad diode or something I had to go to individually check them but anyway long story short those are getting replaced and sold off and I may keep a couple just for backups but let me show you the strengthening I also did on this south array <laughs> So right up here, I had to put extensions in to fit six of those Q-cells. And I've got hard point after hard point bolted together there, strap there, two bolts there, and another strap right up there. And on top of that, I also, see how I got these two angled ones going up right here? I sandwiched these guys together right here with spacers and painted them. So now these two right here are attached to this right here. Good and solid. Good and solid. And did that right there. Put that extension in there. And also right there. Just to help with weight distribution. So it's a pretty stout and solid array. Uh, this is concrete filled stockade post and that's what's gonna happen so I'll, total power this will have 3,000 watts and then 3,000 watts on the pergola and 2,400 for a total of 8,400 watts going into the garage add in the 400 there you've got 8600 and add in the four up there and you got exactly 9,000 <laughs> so my backyard folks I got 9,000 watts of solar panels but as you can see I only get sun on the pergola half the day this array right here as you can see it's 830 in the morning it's already getting sun so this is a year-round array right here this one just kicks ass and that's why I want to put the Q cells on this and maybe eventually do Q cells over here but this array is working I mean it's getting better than 75% rated power just like always so it's an old array but still works good last long time so why spend the money right but these Q cells absolutely freaking excellent and I'll have the new ones in probably 
Wednesday next week and get to work on getting them up there. All right, have a safe New Year's Eve night tonight. Don't drink and drive, of course. Have a plan. And uh, just party and live like there's no tomorrow. We'll see you.